So first of all, let's introduce functions. Functions are basically control statements that are into a group and by calling that th that particular group is having a name and we call that particular name to access the group of statements that are written in that particular function. So again we have text emails, HTML emails, then we have regular expressions, built-in functions, file manipulation functions, then we have error handling and debugging functions. So function is a group of statements that execute together. So now let's go with functions. A function is basically a set of codes which are used to perform some specific task. Uh, right. Basically a function, I have already told you that it's a group of statements that are written together to perform a particular task, a specific task. It may either return a value it or it may perform some uh, read, write or any other functionality, but that would be having a specific purpose. Now, main, main advantage of uh, writing down the function is reusability. Once you have written down a function, you can call this function multiple times wherever you want depending upon the scope of the function that whether that particular function is in private scope, whether it is public scope or what kind of scope. So next the function will not execute directly when the program loads. Right. Function is basically a group of statements but we have to invoke the function in order to call the function in order to, in, in order to execute the function statements. There are basically two kind of functions one is built-in functions, lot of built-in functions you have already aware of that uh, we discussed in last class that we can uh, call that inbuilt functions to do our job. PHP provides lot of lot of uh, inbuilt functions. Then we have user-defined functions. In user-defined functions basically we define our, our custom functions. We write our own statements and based on our requirement we call those functions into our program. So th these are two kinds of functions. Uh, let's move ahead. Now we are how we create a function PHP. So here you can see this is the basic syntax of a function. We uh, first of all we write a keyword function then we give a custom function name then our function is having curly braces. This curly braces is blank in this case, but later on this will be having parameters that are called arguments. So after that we have brace to start and in that particular bracket we write down the code to be executed, the group of statements that are to be executed for a specific purpose. So once the function is declared, now we have to call that particular function. So here you can see the function name. We simply write the function name and in the braces if there are arguments we pass the arguments otherwise simply we define a call function like this. So here are some of the rules to follow the function. Functions name are not case sensitive. It might be possible that here you have given function name if you keep it a small letter you can call, call it even in capital letter. So they are not case sensitive and a function starts either with the underscore or it starts with the letter. A function cannot start with a number. So now let's go with some practical stuff regarding function. So here is my blank PHP file. I'm going to write down a PHP function here. I think my code window is visible to you people. Okay, fine. Let's go with the function. Let's write down a function. Function uh, let's keep the function name as print data. So here We will start with brackets, 
Now, we'll write here whatever statement we want to have in function. For example, I'm writing print this is my first function in PHP. So this is our function body. Now let's call the function. Now let's see how to call this function. Here you can see the screen seems to be blank. This is because we have just defined the body of the function but till now we haven't called the function. So in order to execute a function we have to call it. So here I'm going to do print data. Just like this I will call the function and here you will see it is printed. This is my first function in PHP. So this is a basic function in PHP. First of all we provide the body of the function then we call that particular function. Only then the function statements get executed. So here you can see function name, set of quotes that we have written, then calling of the function. Is it fine? So again you can see here we have created a display message function here. We are writing a statement in this display message function and we are simply calling it. So this is the same thing that I have shown you practically. Here if you remember we were talking about some built-in functions. So echo is basically PHP inbuilt construct inbuilt function. Same way echo, print, these are inbuilt functions. Now, a function not only prints the statements or it executes the statements, it can also return a value that can be either a singular value or it can be an array with multiple values. So, in order to return something from a function, we have to write down a keyword return, then the item or variable or an array that we want to return. So let's, let's see this practically. Here I have simply written, this is my first function in PHP. Now I will do a bit change in order to let you know how we will return the value. Here instead of directly printing, I am going to store it in a variable that is str. So let's little bit change the statement. This is my first function PHP returning well. So what I will do now if you check execute the function nothing will get printed because we have stored the value into the string but till now we haven't returned this string value. So in order to print the string value what we will do, we will write return dollar $str. Now, let's execute. Okay, we have just returned. Now, it would be returned in a new variable. That is str1. Because we are returning the string value, we are not printing it yet. So, either we can write down directly print here or it's better if you save it in a variable and then print or echo dollar str1. So here you can see the value of str we printed. So this is the way of returning a function's value. Now instead of printing the string inside the function, we are simply returning the string from the function to outside variable that is storing the value of function that is calling the function. Now we are printing it outside. Now return gives us the benefit is that 
this function can be called anywhere we simply know that it will be going to return the value and we ca can play with this value we can manipulate this value but if value is pay, being printed into the function itself then we cannot manipulate that value so returning simply provides us the flexibility of manipulating the value of returned by a function so not only uh, a single we can have multiple returns we can have multiple returns of in a function if we are having str2 this is the second return statement so we can also return this str2 but one thing we have to remember once the control comes to first return it will not execute the statements below it now you can check it will still give us string one it will not give us the second string so how to print the second string either to comment it if we comment this above value then second string will be printed so basically multiple returns are only used in case in conditional cases for, for a particular condition consider if if we are having a variable dollar where is equal to 1 so if there is a condition that if dollar where is equal to 1 or equal to 2 then it would be we can or we can simply return no need to write it in a string we can simply return this else we can simply return like this so you have to write down return keyword now here if we run this program you will simply that see that this is the second return statement would get printed because where is equal to 1 and it will it will come to else condition if we make it 1 then the first statement will be printed because first condition is satisfied but it is always advisable to use return only once in a function so in order to avoid this multiple returns we should prefer to have a string in this condition we can give str equal to and again for the blow stored statement this will be str means str would be decided based on what is the value of the variable and we will simply return dollar str so this way we can avoid multiple return statements so it is going to give us the same result see it is returning the first statement because where is one if we make it two it will return as the second statement so return simply returns the value of the function to the calling variable but it's very flexible thing because the control never moves to the next line after the return statement so we should use it with care we should handle it with care because if you have multiple returns in a function then sometime what happens if if function is having more than 200 lines then sometimes the control come there is a return statement in between that gets satisfied and controls comes out of the function without executing the further statements so that may create some kind of error or bug in us uh, as per our requirements so it's always better to keep a single return statement and that should be at the last of, la as a last statement of the function